when you've got an RV, there's so much more to cuisine on the road. Fast food doesn't have to just be your option. We got a whole kitchen back here. I can make you whatever you want. So can you. I'm excited because today we're actually headed to Bao Bao Fair here in Detroit, Michigan. Real African cooking done by a family that cares so much for what they're doing and the community that they're doing it for. What's up, man? <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. No, thank you. Oh, Always. Nadia, how are you? Good, thank good. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Thank you for this is awesome. Please, tell me about the restaurant. Tell me about the food, how long you've been doing this here. So yeah, Baba Fair is a East African restaurant to represent the East Africa, I know, region. I would say Swahili region, but specifically, we're from Burundi, born and raised. So we wanted to represent the area because the area has amazing culture amazing food so that's why we we are here so baba fair here we cook you know different food from the region and everybody from east africa can they can find themselves here in detroit and we are so proud of uh, uh that representation and you've had incredible recognition whether it's from being on chopped or with the james beard foundation these incredible accolades that you've received from being just who you are how did the food start to where it is today. When we started, people was a very septic to try and they loved it. the samaki, our fish, so good. Our beef, uh, nyumbani is amazing. I remember when we started putting that uh, goat shank to the menu. Everybody was oh, like, I remember the goat shank. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> One thing I actually have never asked you about, and I do not know, where did the name come from? So the name uh, Baobab, uh, Baobab is a tree tree of life and uh, uh, it's a very symbolic tree in Africa and for us coming to Detroit uh, you know as refugee we didn't have a family here we didn't speak English we didn't have anything and we felt like we have to be strong as a baobab tree we saw that tree grow in the desert area without water dry area but the tree is very healthy and we want to be a tree we want to be baobab tree in Detroit you are <laughs> you you nailed it because you've invited me here to your home so many times, I would love to see if we can mix it up and hop on an RV and make some food together. I've never been in an RV. Me too, it's gonna be my first time I get in an RV. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay. All right. <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the Thor Four Wings 2018. But today, it's our kitchen on wheels. Come on in. Yeah. Let's, let's see. Let's see what's yeah. inside. Oh wow! <laughs> this is this is incredible. So beautiful. <laughs> I didn't have an idea that this is you have this space in. Oh, it's our... beautiful. Not just does it have a full kitchen, we actually have a queen size bed in the bedroom behind you. Full bathroom with shower in here, refrigerator, front cockpit. Everything kind of folds out to be a bed, so you can sleep up to seven in here. So with what we've got here today, what are you thinking about cooking? How about you make the chapati and the uh, veal liver? Okay, she said she's the boss. I'm gonna do it. Me, I'm yeah. gonna take care of the restaurant. Okay, I will see you. Divine Bye. conquer. Yeah. Awesome. Good luck. What do you want to grab first? So I'll start chopping the onion. Okay. Get this. Let's do this. And uh, slice this garlic. We'll need those. And I have my small. Holding cuts. Uh, board. That's my knife. So it's your knife, so you can use it. I will show you the secret about the onion, so it doesn't burn or you know make your your eyes like a watering. Or you know what I'm saying? It's like sometimes the onion can be. So how you do that? So you put this right here. Yo. And. So, take one of those. so you can cut onion now. It's not gonna burn you off the eyes. Interesting. Yeah. Also looks pretty cool. <laughs> All right, you tell me, how do you want the onion cut? I'll actually... Yeah, what's sure. Out of... So you go this way. Simple. Just a rough chop. That's yeah. It. And then same thing with the garlic? Same thing with the garlic. By using a lot of garlic, it's, uh, you know, the liver has Sunken. Oh yeah, it's man. Funny. Yeah, and you know, make sure like you you cut that smell with onion, 
Yeah. All the things that make something flavorful, yeah, will immediately take out that fuck. And this is good enough for chop? That's that's a not waterfall. So the liver, right? So you gotta make sure like you remove the skin if you can. So I remove on this side. This part, I don't like it because it's kind of like the hard part. But other than that, it's very easy to cut. A lot of people get turned away from liver. Yeah. And I don't understand why. And I think that until they eat something when it's properly done. Yeah. That's when you can finally understand that every part of whether it's the animal or the vegetable, or every part has a beautiful flavor to it. Now, our culture, we use, you know, we can cook with different ingredients, we can cook with different meats. And that is where I feel like the world and new generation have to know and to understand. Let's, let's use the liver. So you can tap those tomatoes. You got it. Let's do it. Yeah. The most important thing is uh, make sure the tomatoes are cooked well. Tomatoes first. Tomatoes first. This part is very, very important because you want to make sure your tomatoes are well cooked, take out those acidity and stay with the flavor. And you're crushing them in with the oil right yes, now. Yes, crushing them so to get more flavors. You're used to working not just in a small space from growing up, but then also now you have the food truck. Yeah. How does this compare to working on the food truck? I think this is more uh, family style. I feel like it's, uh, I feel like I'm cooking for my kids and you know and Nadia for friends in, in the food truck. Everything is very commercial. Honestly, I love this kind of uh, setup because it give me there's no pressure here. Yeah. It's more love. It's more about oh my order is delay. Hurry up! You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's the food truck. We're on five minutes. Five, five minutes, minutes on yeah. that order. The game is starting. You know, I, I'm not in that. Here is more about. Enjoying the moment, yeah. enjoying time, and I, I feel like I enjoy this more. So we have to add these guys. Cool, we're adding it all? together. Yeah, onion and uh, everything. Mixing it all in? Yes. Let's do it. This is uh, garlic powder. Beauty. Yeah. As I say, just follow your heart. Don't measure. Agreed. <laughs> Curry, black pepper, of course. Of course. Of course, salt. At this stage, you want to put the liver because as you're taking longer, the spice is going to stick. We're going yeah. to toss that in? Yeah. Put. Oh, and that's cooking right up. So for liver, you don't need to cook it too high of a heat. You don't need to cook it for too long. What is the secret to cooking liver? So I think it's the same thing. The heat is not that you know high. Let it pause so the, all those flavors stay together until you see those um, the oil come kind of get inside of the liver mm. and the, you're gonna see the color will change so we try this one see Oof. so how we do this cut it yeah can you see if it's all the way oh yeah oh yeah that's cooked all the way through you that's see? actually kind of cooked perfectly mm. Mm. the gaminess from the from the liver is almost non-existent, but the little bit that's still there is what you want. Yeah. Just to let you know that liver is liver. It's delicious. So at this stage, mm. we can add, um, cut, can you cut for me the, yeah, one. Citrus, yeah. just in half? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna brighten it up so much yeah. too. The flavor that we just got was so round. Um, the texture was perfect, but I know that with the brightness of this fresh lemon, yeah, that's what you need. So oh, that's what I want. That. So chapati is a very traditional bread. Just uh, flour, uh, coconut oil, and salt. So it's a tortilla. Kind of. <laughs> don't, don't insult me. <laughs> no, hey, tortilla is my life. It's our life. This is the way I mean for me. I'm just, I'm, kidding, I'm so happy I'm... to see that you also have something that's similar to what we have. So now, as I say, this is like a breakfast, so we have to make it tea. Oh, cool. We've got another so pot in here. Another pot there. I think we probably want to move this to the back burner, though, because there's a little bit more room yeah. back here. So we can... Milk? Milk. What kind of tea are we doing? So we call it African tea. You boil milk, you put ginger, clove, and milk. 
So this is gonna be a very welcoming, warming tea. Absolutely. For this yeah. brunchy, yeah. international mm -hmm. dish that we're eating. That's the chapati you're looking for. That's, That's the color perfect. you're looking for. That is the color you're looking for. That is perfect. Here, we've got some, uh, we've got some dishes in here. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a chapati. That's for you. If yep. we're ready, are we ready? Yeah, almost. Yeah, so I think I should uh, feed you first. No, we're eating together, my friend. Good. This is my favorite, uh, my favorite part of the, of the cooking. The eating. Which one is yours or that's mine? Uh, this is yours, yeah, yeah. Salud. Hey. Oh man, the black pepper is not as pronounced as I thought it was going to be. The way that it was added in rounds out the flavor of everything. You have the ginger, you have the clove, and you have the black pepper. Yeah. But all together, this tastes like a delicious heartwarming beverage. So, cut the bread. Okay. Oh yeah. And then you go with the liver like this. What surprised me about this right now, the flavor of the bread, what it did was it elevated the flavor of the meat. Because of the little bit of the oil in here, you're getting so much more of a, of a unified flavor. A little bit of the crunch, great spice. I love the fried tomato in it too. This is your first time cooking an RV. How was it? Well, it was, it was great. I, I feel like it was a great experience. I, I can see a family live here and all the time. I can see uh, myself live here because you have everything that you need. So I, I never see any, a lot of African families using RV. Mm. And uh, for me, it's like, uh, why not? Why not? I know for a fact, you and your family would do a great job road tripping in this thing. I think this is gonna be my next uh, adventure. Amazing experience to cook with you. Thank you again, thank you and your family. Speaking of which, I think we should make a play for Nadia. Oh yeah. Let's make her a fresh one. Never yeah, sure. Cheers. Say cheers. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Let's just say that you want an RV and you want to get into the same kind of adventures like we're getting into right now. Use the Chef RV special. 500 bucks off. Link below. Let me know in the comments below where should we take this thing next? What should we cook? Who should we meet up with?